We're at the Coca-Cola bottling plant in Marietta, Georgia, trying to uncover the secret ingredients to the famous Coke recipe. So far, we met this man who told us that... One of the most closely guarded secrets in the world. And this man who told us that this room... Is full of secret ingredients. But we really haven't achieved much else, and the clock is ticking, so let's get on with it. Secret syrup is wheeled in from the room full of secrets. Oh, and here it comes. The great secret behind this multi-billion dollar enterprise. I'm so excited. It must look so cool. Um, that's it? Just syrup in those little plastic jugs on a skid? <sighs> on a forklift? I was expecting it to get wheeled in, surrounded by secret service agents. It turns out the main ingredient in a batch of Coke is not so secret. Water! A classified code gets entered into this high-tech panel, and the water starts pouring into a blend tank. Then, the secret syrup is added to the water very carefully. The mix of water and syrup are blended up, and then pumped through this complex network of pipes and into a series of batch tanks in the next room. What happens to the mix when it gets to the batch tanks? It actually transfers over to the mixing station right beside the filler, where our syrup comes in contact with our water, and from there it gets in contact with our uh, CO2, and then we actually fill the bottle. So there's a three, basically a three-stream system. You won't see it. It's actually enclosed in a container. Yeah. More secrets. Yeah. Look, they're sneaking the secret Coke into bottles. Empty bottles go through the filler, where the product is dispensed to fill them up. The filler runs anywhere between 41 to 43 degrees Fahrenheit to keep the product stable. If the Coke were to get too warm, it would foam up and not stay in the bottle. How many bottles can you fill in a minute, Perry? On that particular filler, we're running about 550 bottles a minute. Ooh, that's fast. Uh, that's one of our slower running lines. We have ones that actually run faster. Show off. As bottles are discharged off the filler, the crown is placed on the bottle and crimped. Bottles go through a warmer where the Coke is brought up to room temperature to prevent it from sweating when it goes into the package. Bottles go through a final inspection machine to check for any impurities. Then cases are hoisted up and Coke-filled bottles are dropped in. And now my favorite part, cases are palletized and stored before being shipped out to Coke fans across the nation. That's a wrap on Coke.